You know what this reminds me of? Around a year ago, we made a video titled, A Vegan Diet Will Make You a Fairy Boy. And I really wanted to make that video titled, A Vegan Diet Will Make You Gay. And I mean, you know, the words I could put in this title are probably not allowed, but basically you're going to be into furries. You're going to be dreaming about animals if you go vegan. And I've made an awful lot of jokes that vegans are cute, cuddly animal lovers. And I might have mentioned that they want to get dressed up in fur suits, play with each other, all types of costume nonsense. And although I did observe that behavior on a few rare occasions, I didn't really think it held any legitimacy. Until now, that is. Yeah, I thought it just happened to be, you know, animal lovers decide to go vegan. You know, it was uh, something before the vegan diet. But one of my viewers made me aware of zoophilia psychosis. The idea here is that a vegan diet will induce mental disorders through nutrient deficiencies, possibly leading to zoophilia, and, and zoophilia is, um, well, we'll define it here. Zoophilia is a disorder of sexual preference that is characterized by sexual fantasies or behaviors that include animals. Zoophilia is more common in comorbidity with other paraphilias. When reviewing scholarly publications, a small number of articles has been found that connect zoophilia and other psychiatric disorders, and they are shown here, precisely in those patients and also in the care of our patient that we described here. We can speak of zoophilic behavior as one of the signs of psychosis. Zoophilia presented as an early sign of the psychotic process. It is for us to conclude how during noticing of such sexually deviant behavior, it is important to pay attention to all the other psychopathology as to get insight into the possible start or exacerbation of the psychotic process in order for the treatment to be more directional. So what that study basically said was, it's important to notice if someone starts looking at animals funny because it can be an early hint that the person is going crazy. And most of the time people attempt to disregard nutrition, you know, blame these mental disorders on environment or genetics, which isn't entirely true. When talking about the etiology and pathophysiology of paraphilia, all the information leading to now suggests an influence of psychosocial and neurobiological factors for the formation of deviant sexual behavior. Psychological factors which are thought to be most important are family violence, dysfunctional family relations, and sexual abuse in childhood. When talking about the neurobiological side, endocrine function in pedophilia research has shown an elevated response of luteinizing hormone to stimulation of the luteinizing releasing hormone or gonadotropin releasing hormone, which could also be present in zoophilia. So those hormones in the brain, which are directly impacted by diet during developmental stages of life, are altered in people with mental dysfunction. And research evidence and articles also shows specific case studies correlating zoophilia with mental disorders. Two psychiatric patients with zoophilia, where in both of the patients post-mortem had found atrophy of the hippocampal pyramidal cells. The first case was a man that suffered from hebephrenic schizophrenia, and the second case was a man that suffered from bipolar affective disorder and chronic alcoholism. In both cases alongside zoophilia, Records show incidents of other paraphilia. Some of the research suggests a higher incidence of zoophilia in men, persons with mental retardation, poor social skills, and lower levels of education, as well as higher incidence of zoophilia in people from rural areas, especially among those who work with animals. And of course we know that certain nutrient deficiencies, especially B12, lead to rapid mental deterioration. Schizophrenia-like psychotic episode precipitated by cobalamin deficiency. We describe a young single male vegetarian who developed a cobalamin-induced psychotic episode without preceding neurologic manifestations and without any hematologic symptoms. He recovered after a short course of antipsychotics and oral cobalamin supplementation and remained asymptomatic and functionally independent at one year of follow-up. And it can be hard to find studies correlating a vegan or vegetarian diet to mental illness because that's obviously not the agenda. 
but you can readily find studies showing vitamin deficiencies and various mental disorders. Acute psychotic depression as a sole manifestation of vitamin B12 deficiency. This case suggests that B12 deficiency can present as an acute psychotic episode. Correlation between total vitamin D levels and psychotic psychopathology in patients with schizophrenia. Vitamin D deficiency is highly prevalent in patients with schizophrenia, especially those in acute episodes. Vitamins B12 and D3 are two very common supplements, especially for vegans. However, taking a supplement does not mean your body is utilizing it. B12 requires many other animal nutrients to be properly absorbed, as does vitamin D3 cholesterol being a big factor. Vegans don't have any cholesterol in their diet, and after a few months of hormone production, body stores become very stressed, completely depleted. If these supplements that vegans were taking actually worked, the B12, vitamin D3, omega fatty acids, they simply wouldn't decay into a bunch of animal-loving, brainwashed zombies. And, uh, who knows, maybe this'll, uh, Light a couple bulbs in people's heads, noticing behavior of certain vegans, but hey, we'll see. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tidbit. If you guys could please leave a comment down below, like the video, of course share the video on social media if you can. Make sure you are notified by clicking that bell icon. And if you guys do want to support me further, perfect your health, check out frank tofanocom Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. If I don't lose my mind before then. <laughs>